What's going on YouTube? White Kanye the Great here with another edited video for you guys. Today we're going over frequently asked questions for Witch Queen. Before we get started, make sure you guys are hitting that like button, that sub button, and notifications on so you never miss a video like this or a live stream. We live stream every single day. We just did a 24 hour live stream and who knows, we might even do another 24 hour live stream for the world's first raid attempt. But yeah, back on the video. So, another thing that you're going to get with the deluxe version are the raids and the dungeons, the new dungeons, right? Okay. Now, the soft cap on the season is 1500, okay? The powerful cap is 1550, right? And the hard cap is 1560. So, a uh, big way for a lot of people to get to 1520 is if you do the legendary campaign, you're guaranteed to get 20 plus power uh, gear throughout the whole mission and at the very end you will be at 1520 if you play it on legendary now if you don't play it on legendary there will be certain missions that you won't be high enough power for even in the normal version meaning you're gonna have to go out and do some crucible and some gambit so you got to choose do you want to do the legend might take you a little bit longer but your power bonus will allow you to continue through legend without stopping Okay, just some tips. Now, the next thing that we're going to talk about is the Wellspring. If you guys hear YouTubers or friends talking about the Wellspring, this is what the Wellspring is. We're going to look over here. Now, how do we get the Wellspring? You have to complete the campaign. Once you complete the campaign, you can then play this Wellspring. And they have different rotations on it, which is fantastic. We have Wellspring Attack today, and our rewards are come to pass uncommon. We're going to get into the importance of that in a moment, but those rewards change daily, and the attack or defense will change. It'll either be attack or defend, and it'll be defense instead of offense. So those are the rotations of that, and you do have to finish the campaign. Now... Your next question is, do you have to finish the campaign on all three of your characters if you want to do this? If you haven't completed the campaign, let's say, on your Warlock, no, you can't. You have to complete the campaign on all three characters if you want to play it on all three characters. The only characters that can play the Wellspring are the ones that completed the campaign. Okay? So, uh, yeah, and you do get different uh, rewards for this, and it is in a rotation. Now... We're going to go right back to this Ostia Striga because real quick I want to talk to you guys about how to get the catalyst and a tip about it as well. So you can craft the rolls on this Ostia Striga. However, once you craft the catalyst, right, for this bad boy, and you get stability, reload speed, and bullets get reloaded into the magazine through uh, kills. The uh, issue is you're going to have to spend a bunch of materials to get the catalyst. It's three alloys, and you have to be level 10, right? But then once you do the catalyst, if you want to, let's say, change your barrel or your bullets or, you know, your stock, you're going to have to spend three alloys again. Now, if you find your perfect roll, like, you know, before the catalyst gets, you know, uh, uh, crafted, this would only, you know, to change out your rounds, well, it only costs a little bit of materials, right? But if you want to change your rounds out after you get the catalyst, it's going to cost you three alloys. So please make sure you find your roll first before you get the catalyst. All right. Big tip right there. Now, next we're going to talk about glaives. So... To get the glaive, you have to finish the first mission of the campaign. Now, this is free for everyone, the first mission of the campaign, and to get the glaive, right? And you're going to get that on Mars, and you're going to be able to craft this, right? And the beauty of it is once you get one of them, you can actually transfer the weapon to other characters. Like if you put it in your vault or use the app to transfer everything over, you can do that. So uh, you could just rock one glaive between three characters, or you could play the first campaign mission on all three different characters and have uh, different glaives 
for each of your characters. So that's another little tip right there on the whole glaives. Alright guys, for the next little tip, you're probably wondering what these weapons are that are dropping for you with the red square around them. Alright, so let's go over that. That is atonement, and this is how you get materials for crafting. When you get one of these weapons, do not dismantle it, even if it's a bad roll. Grab it, go use it, and get that atonement progress worked up. It's real quick, doesn't take too long. And when you do get it worked all the way up and finish it, what you're going to do is come on over here to this box. Hover over it. Now, once you have it fully, you know, you'll be able to come down here and claim either or. And these are different. This is Ruinous Element, plus 12. This is Mutable Element, plus 12. Okay, but the uh, Neutral Element at the bottom, plus 200, is the same. But do pay attention to that, and then you can claim that, and that is also towards Weapon Crafting, which is very expensive. So make sure, whenever you get one of these, you equip it, and get that Atonement Progress worked out, and just start claiming them. And that's all going to be at the Enclave on Mars. Okay, speaking of Mars and the Enclave, let's go ahead and head on over to Mars right now to check out the Investigation Board. All right, guys, now that we're here on Mars, we're going to check out the Evidence Board. Yeah. So the big question is how to get the exotic glaives. All right, guys, this is going to be a very tough one. It's going to be multiple days of grinding. First off, you do have to beat the campaign. And second, you do have to finish all these quests. As you see, I've already completed a couple, but some of them do have question marks as this quest won't unlock until I finish Trust Goes Both Ways, so on and so forth, okay? So once we do unlock all these, then the hard part is one of those secret quests has something to do with the atonement, okay? With these weapons, with the red squares, there are three weapons specifically that you need to get with those red squares. Then finish them. And when you finish those atonement progress, it also unlocks the crafting spec for that weapon, right? So this is very important, guys. When you get three of these specific weapons, which they will tell you what to do in the quest, what weapons they are, and how to get them, one of the ways is to do the wellspring activity, which is, oh my god, it is a bitch. I didn't get it to drop yet. But you're going to have to get those weapons with the red square around them, right? And then finish them and then craft them, okay, with specific upgrades. And now all these quests will let you know that. But what I highly suggest in the meantime is go to the wellspring every day that it has, you know, the wellspring in the rotation and play it and try and get those weapons to drop with the red squares. Today is the auto rifle at the time that I am uh, recording this. I believe it is this one right here. Yes, come to pass. However, I wasn't able to get the atonement version of it, but I needed to get two of these. And then tomorrow, Sunday, is going to be the next day for uh, wellspring to drop the other weapon required for this exotic glaive. I know it all sounds confusing, but they will explain it in the quest. And on top of that, I'm letting you know just ahead of time that you need to be playing that Wellspring now, not later, because of those rotations, you might not be able to get these guns. And you're wondering, why do we need to get these guns to craft them? Well, you can't craft the weapon until you get them unlocked. So I hope that helped, guys. It's just a couple tips and a couple of questions that I see in our live streams all the time. So here's a video for you guys on it all. Hit that like button, sub button, join button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Chatley!